How y'all doing today? I just started taking me a little walk. Decided to record something. But I was thinking about this book that I got. It's called Winning From Within. Um, it's a pretty neat book. Uh, it's written by Erica Ariel Fox. Talks about um, um, imaginative and innovative and powerful tools to help manage our inner world. Because a lot of times we can look around us at the obstacles that, you know, that we face, like trials and tribulation, and it can bring discouragement. So, what's a good read? I'm a book reader anyway. So I like those who write books that encourage others to look at life from a different perspective than just a defeated mindset. Uh, let's see if I can show you all what the book actually looks like, just in case you want to check it out later. Can't figure out how to work this camera though. <laughs> but it has a breakthrough method for leading, living, and lasting change. Because a lot of times we start, we start things and we don't finish it out. And you have to dig down deep inside yourself from within, not anything outside yourself like encouragement. I'm thinking about this new school I'm about to start and I want to be successful at it. So I just set me some new goals and I just encourage you all to set new goals as well. Set new goals, new things. Be creative in your minds with your time. But here's um, the book. Hopefully you get a good uh, picture of it. I just flashed the camera because I don't know how to um, reverse it right now. But um, it's a great read. Definitely inspire me to push on. But yeah, I just want to let y'all know that I'm starting some new classes to further my education. Because you can always grow and learn stuff. You know, I've been a, a music producer for a long time and you know I'm constantly learning stuff getting my knowledge up becoming better you know no matter where you go at in life and what you learn it's always something you can look at and upgrade about yourself but you do that from within you know the drive within yourself to bring out the best in you you know our creator of this universe he made us always something special inside of us and we can relate that to other people you know as we show our gifts and talents as we bring encouragement as we seek to inspire that's one thing I want to do with my music is inspire one thing I want to do with my uh, knowledge is encourage because I done been down a lot of um, tough roads so I know what it takes to dig yourself up out of there and keep trying you know because you may have those rough days where you want to give up so that's why I was pointing out in this book you gotta learn how to win from within know that everything you need is right inside you to give out the best performance. You know, as you look at race cars, without the engine being right and fuel, ain't no way you're gonna have um, a high performance. So you gotta make sure it has the right maintenance. And we do that also with our bodies. Give it the right maintenance. 
you know so get your relation right with God if if you don't want have if you don't have one that's solid you know because in the end that's the only thing that's gonna last is what's eternal and not what's temporary what we go through on an everyday basis is temporary but what's living inside you you know that spiritual aspects of life that's what's eternal and life is amazing looking at it from appreciation gratitude morals values virtues looking at life from within it's remarkable and from that perspective we can transform ourselves you know, you no longer see that person you was 10, 15 years ago as you grow and mature. You start valuing the small things. I was thinking today, I'd rather have virtue than materialistic things. Because you can't take none of that with you when you die. And you can't put no price on having a good name for yourself. You know how people see you. You know, a good name is better than uh, jewels, you know, rubies, diamonds. You know, that's what the Bible teaches. A good name is precious, important. Having the correct identity. Yeah, I just had that good news that I was starting school soon. I want to encourage y'all to read, at least read 20 minutes a day. At least 20 minutes. Get you something that you can uh, feed your mind. You know, food for thought. Because we feed our bellies. Got to feed that mind. That good knowledge. You know. Or a chapter a day. You know, but at least 20 minutes. In life, we got to set standards. And be, you know, innovative. Create new things. Out with the old, in with the new. But um, coming up, I expect some groundbreaking work. Getting done within this music. Um, with them writing. I plan on writing a book as well. Hopefully I can get it together. It's definitely not easy. I'm going to do this one step at a time. You know, it's good to journal as well. Jot some thoughts down. I don't just sit and hold everything in. Looking at life from a different perspective. Gratitude. 2019 is coming up. Wow. Now right around the corner. A few days away. A lot of people make New Year's resolutions. But uh, how about just letting it, letting people see it? Instead of making one, let people see it. You know, don't even talk about it, just be about it. People can see the change. You know, we always wanna say, I'm gonna do this for the new years. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna change this, you know. And still be doing the same thing, you know, that was doing five years ago. So, and you know, we do make mistakes, so let's not exclude mistakes. Let's make sure we're paying attention to our progress as well. But you all take care. I try to post some more um, music coming up, some new beats. I got many. But all right, uh, you all remember to keep me in your prayers because I'm definitely praying for you. I'm off here.